We are at Olympian Gymnasium for what a double header we have for you tonight, folks, on the campus of Lusinger High School. It's the West Warriors here to see Lusinger Olympians in a battle for first place for both the girls and the boys basketball teams. Good evening, everybody. Along with Darius Jackson, I'm Lou Stowers, and what a huge double header this is going to be. This is definitely going to be a juggernaut of a night. We got a great matchup between the girls basketball and boys basketball. But right now, our main focus of this girls basketball game is sure going to be a good one, where last time West, they pulled away, where it was tied up going into the fourth quarter, Lou. But West Torrance, what they're able to go ahead and do is pull away at the end of the game, and that's why they're sitting on top of the Pioneer League. Who knows, maybe for now. Tamara Lata is going to be watching the West Warriors tonight, and their coach, Ricky, is really, really tough and wants to wrestle away the CIF championship from these Olympians. Yes, you know, they already beat this team one time, but Coach Ricky did tell me that she's looking for her team to come in here and take care of the basket and, and give a little defense intensity. She, she seemed very confident about her team coming in here to win because her, her player, Katie Timmerman, she had 30 points the last game, so she'll be looking to get the ball to her and leave her with a win tonight. And uh, they've really dressed up uh, losing your gymnasium here, Olympian Gym. It looks nice, and uh, what a nice night it's going to be, especially for the Olympians who have to defend their title, and this is the team they have to beat. It's definitely going to be a tough matchup. The problem last time was them not capitalizing off free throws. It's going to be a physical matchup, so if they have a chance to go ahead and be at the free throw line, they must capitalize off of that and especially get De'Ara Allen going because that is their star player. So if they can get De'Ara Allen going, it could go ahead and be a really good night for Olympians. And even though the Olympians' Daria Allen is just a freshman and probably going to be the player of the year along maybe with some of these Warriors, this is a, a team that is defending its champion and West has to come through Olympian gym. Yeah, and when you talk about this losing her team, you already know Coach Bo's credentials. He always has this losing her girls team ready to play. Turn the program around in just a minimum of three years. But one thing about this losing her team, they like to press, and these girls really get after it on defense. All right, so there you see it. Tamara Lata, Sebastian Spencer, Darius Jackson, me, and the City TV crew. The starting lineups and the tip-offs coming up next on City TV. Hi, I'm Donnell Beverly from the University of Connecticut, home of the 2011 National Championship UConn Huskies basketball team, and you're losing your Olympians. Beverly around the back, follow a jumper, good, beautiful shot. It wasn't too long ago that I was playing basketball right here. I just want to thank him for having me here. I'm, I'm honored to play here. And the Huskies are the top dog in 2011. Winning the NCAA championship has always been a goal of mine, but so is getting a great education that will last me a lifetime. You can achieve your goals too. All you have to do is work hard and dream hard, and you can do anything you put your mind to. Back here at the gym, let's join our national anthem.
our 11-year-old national anthem singer. We're going to get her name a lickety split here. And the Tamara Lata is going to go get her name right now. Looks Nancy like Lapita is her name. And Nancy Lapita is the national anthem singer. Oh boy, what cute is a button, isn't she? Looks like you got some competition when it comes to the singing challenge, Lou. <laughs> boy, oh. she has some great vocals on her. Absolutely. And here are the starting lineups for the West Warriors. Number three, Anaya James. Number five, Alisa Saito. Number 10, the captain, Lonnie Lum, is a senior. Another senior, Haley Jones, another captain, number 14. And number 23, Katie Timmerman. So all three senior captains start for this Warrior team, led by coach Ricky Murakami and P.J. Hansen, Lindsey Nitake are the assistant coaches. At 20 and 4, 8 and 0, first in the Pioneer League, and have won 10 in a row. They're 5 and 1 on the road. Three senior captains, it just shows you how much leadership that they embrace when it comes to leading this team. And you can just see the record shows for undefeated in the league. And here are the losing girl Olympians, led by Coach Bo Corona, the defending CIF champions. Diara Allen, number five, a five-seven freshman. And she is a Player of the Year candidate. Number one, Belisa Milhouse, another guard, a 5'2 junior. And forward, we got senior, number two. Number two at one of the forward spots, Machari Johnson. At center, we got senior, number 11. And in the middle, Number 11, Brianna Gatewood, a 5'11 senior. And at the other forward, we got senior, number zero. And zero, Precious Anuka, a 5'8 senior forward, one of the leaders on this team. And Precious scores 10.3 points a game. The leading scorer is Allen with 13.2 points. Sorry, one of my key players tonight would be Precious, and she ain't so precious in the paint, okay? She can go ahead and be as physical as it gets, and it's going to be, there was a lot of fouls in the first game, Lou, and it's, it's pretty much a clash of the Titans here, the top two teams in the Pioneer League. I'm ready to go. I am absolutely ready to go and very excited right here. Oh, yeah, who wouldn't be? I mean, not only this game, the girls' game, but the boys' game, after this, both of them are for first place. So it's just going to be, uh, uh, hopefully, well, hopefully it's uh, as good as advertised. It most definitely should be, and it's going to be hard for us. I actually got us a couple energy drinks for us to go ahead and keep <laughs> the same intensity for both games. This is going to be a really fun night of basketball here at Thro Losinger High. Throwing the ball up, it'll be Chauncey Brown, and he will be assisted by Jeff Van Heusen. And the Warriors end up with the ball to lead things off. Saito has it back over to James. James now dumps down low along the basket along the left side. The shot will go out from Lum, but they get the rebound. Katie Timmerman gets it back out. Now to James. James running the point against a 2-3 zone being put up by the Olympians. Glad you joined us on City TV. How you been? We're doing great. James has it now with 10 seconds left on the shot clock mark. And it's stolen away by the Olympians. Stolen away by Allen, the freshman. And it's a very, Anna. very, very smart decision from Allen waiting for the rest of the team to get by. Sometimes you see a lot of these high school kids get excited. And here where she waited for the rest of the team to get the play set up. And Gatewood, maybe a little nerves, but she's got her first shot under her belt, and it goes off of the, the glass, and a nice defensive play by Johnson to knock the ball away from the driving warrior, and that was Saito. Olympians, they play really good on the defensive side, and they're going to make this as, comfortable, uh, as uncomfortable for the Warriors as much as possible. The first shot is in, put up. By none other than Katie Timmerman. I mean, that's not a surprise to see her put the first points on the board. If she catches fire early on, that's that. That means it'll be a really good night for the Warriors. 
So the Warriors are going to try to slow down the Olympians, but first uh, the Olympians got to calm themselves down. They know it's a big game too. Lum with it off of the missed shot. James over to Saito with a long three. That's off the mark. Still early on though. And back in comes Timmerman. Early note is that they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds, which means they're getting a lot of second chance points. And, and another good play. This is by Allen knocking the ball down. It'll be 15 seconds left to go on the shot clock for the Warriors. How about, how about that matchup between De'Ara Allen and Katie Timmerman? That, that, this is going to be an entertaining matchup just watching them two going at it alone. Kiara Hernando is in the game for the Warriors. Rebound is off of the long miss. Milhouse with it. Milhouse driving, doesn't have the numbers, puts up the shot anyway. Count if it go. No, it's an offensive foul. Why? Certainly not sure about that call. We'll see if her feet even got set there. And if so, oh, what a what a what a what a veteran play from Timmerman. This is why she is pretty much their best player on that team. It's just nice little bunny shot from Lanny Lum. And that makes it 4 nothing. Shot goes up, missed by Precious, and the ball's out of bounds. It'll be West ball. So Losinger, not as patient as West so far this game, so Def far. Most certainly not, where you see West right now, good passing, looking for the opportunity to go ahead and cross the hole like we see here. Ball is tipped out of bounds, should be Losinger ball. It is off of the rebound miss by Haley Jones. What they got to do is slow it down and definitely get De'Ara going because once she gets going. Three-point shot taken by uh, Johnson. That won't go down, but Allen gets the offensive rebound. It was a good pass from Allen, too, to Thompson. Johnson, excuse me. And that was a missed opportunity as Allen, uh, actually Precious thought Allen was going to drive the basket, but then passed it off. Here's a three-point shot. Ooh, in and out. Allen with the rebound. Out rebounding Haley Jones. That was Milhouse that's taking it up. Allen with it. First quarter just underway, almost halfway through. Milhouse back to Anu Anuka. The Warriors, they, they thrive off defense. And they try to make you as comfortable as much as possible, as you see here, another turnover. Not a good start for the Olympian offense. A lot of butterflies out there. Definitely. Five freshmen on this Olympian team. Nice passing by the Warriors, but the shot is missed by Timmerman. Rebound being fought for, Haley Jones gets it. Back to Timmerman and a new set of time. And that's another offensive rebound where you see another second chance points, which the Warriors were able to capitalize off of. And Haley Jones puts in the left-hander. One of the senior leaders on this team. Down to Gatewood. Gatewood trying to put it in to just too short. Now Gatewood gets the rebound. Powering her way in, has no help. And Haley Jones with the rebound, and back they come. Fast break pass underneath. And nicely done by Lanny Lum. And a timeout called by Bo Corona. He's not very happy with his Olympians. Haley Jones, wow, honestly, she's, uh, she's been making a lot of plays out there, uh, giving them the second chance points to go ahead and help them start off with this 8 nothing lead. And what the Olympians need, they need to go ahead and they, they just got to calm down. They got to calm down. They, they need to go ahead and get comfortable where obviously this is a second meeting, so they are familiar of the of one another. And maybe this is where you can see the, you know, the difference between having three senior captains on the team and having five freshmen on the other. And Bo Corona, great coach. Pretty sure. Don't want, to, don't want to get on his bad side, Lou, I'll tell you that. Yeah, he's, he's, got a, he's got a streak in. <laughs> <laughs> Allen brings the ball up court to Johnson. Now Precious over to Milhouse, just missed the three. The ball is batted into the hands of Lanny Lum. 
Bringing it up court is Hernando as a shot. The air ball that's picked off by Johnson. Here comes Johnson, has two to beat. Puts it up and in. And that's a good way to go ahead and break the goose egg. And Johnson grabbing the rebound as well. Making plays on both ends of the court. We gotta slow it down, and get it back to Diara. Let's see if they can go ahead and try to get something set up here. Three point shot taken, won't go down. Haley gets the rebound, nice save. Gets it to James. James with the long pass, just out of the reach of Lanny Lum. And that's a, actually a good call on Precious Onwuka doing a little pass interference. Haley Jones, once again, making grabbing all the rebounds. And you can just see she is uh, significantly better, bigger than all the other girls out there. And she's just absolutely dominating the paint tonight. So Precious with her second personal, second team foul. So it took until the 240 mark to get the first foul in. Timmerman inbounds it to Lum. Back outside and a good tip pass or tip by Allen to get the ball out of bounds. Hernando with the ball. So now it's going to be 29 seconds left. That was good for the Olympians defense, slowing down the Warriors offense. Underneath to Timberman, she misses it, but gets the offensive rebound again. Hernando with the ball. More second chance opportunities for the Warriors. Timmerman for three, looks good in and out. Out rebound, James gets it, passes it back out. Ball over to Lum, and she puts in the little bunny. Second, third chance opportunities. This has been the absolute killer for the Olympians right now. Uh, and you can see where they are smaller in the paint, and it's just a tough way to go ahead and adjust. Give and go goes off of the legs of Melissa Milhouse. It's turned over to West Torrance again. More turnovers, it just has not been a good first quarter whatsoever. Still a lot of basketball left. We're only in the first quarter. Absolutely, and obviously, we, knowing this team, they are capable of getting streaky and going on a run. But what they just got to do is just calm down. And here's Johnson once again making another play. He gets a turnover, two turnovers for West, three for the Olympians, and a foul, a blocking foul. It'll be two shots for Precious on Wuka. Surprises. Lanny Lum with the first personal, first team foul, Darius. Surprises the first time we're seeing uh, any shots at the free throw line from last game, where they took over 50 shots combined at the free throw line. First one is in and out. And that was a problem last game, was missing the free throw opportunities. And Onwuka is a 74% free throw shooter. She gets that one. So one out of two, she has a points, and it's 10 to three. In the ball game, Jesse Hoffsmith for West. Olympians have the same five girls out there. Three-point shot by Timmerman, and she buries it. Five points. And a blocking foul. Is that going to be called on Precious? Looks like she's going to go ahead and be nope. granted two more shots at the free throw line. But going back to Timmerman, though, on that three-pointer, you can see she's filling it already with a couple shots outside the perimeter. So two points for Precious. So free throws are marked that way. So that way if they miss one, we know they missed one. 132. And she makes them both. So three points for Precious. And back in the ball game is Melissa Milhouse as Honesty Hassan, another freshman, was in the ball game momentarily. 
West with a big lead. Timberman trying to get more. No, the rebound is being anticipated, and Haley Jones had it, but it's taken away by Losinger. Nice pass by Precious, and here comes Millhouse. So far, Precious and Johnson, they're both uh, contributing right now, but they need the other three girls to go ahead and help out. Pass is just a little bit too high for Millhouse, and it's turned over. Amuka, she forced it in there. Good pressure by the Olympians, but Timmerman gets it. Oh, wow. Did she travel on that, or was she fouled? Did she make they, the bucket? They counted as a travel. Yep, that's a turnover. Long pass. And way to catch them slipping. Oh, could not execute right there, Millhouse. But as they were debating, they called the they are able to try to sneak a couple points themselves. Sort of capitalize off that one. Timmerman with it now against Millhouse. On a 3-2 zone by the Olympians. Nice move by Hernando. Weaves it off to Timmerman with an off-balance throw. Uses the glass. Seven points for Timmerman. Coming down to the last shot, the shot clock is dark. Ten seconds left in the first quarter. Precious has it, wants to go baseline. Turns and shoots. Haley Jones with the block, and Timmerman has it. And a jump ball, possession arrow faces West. Excuse me, that's uh, that's not West. That's the Olympians' end. What's he talking about? One point nine seconds left. Just catch it and shoot it. But they did get a shot off. A shot was taken by Johnson, but no shot. But it's fifteen to five at the end of one. Just some quick notes from what I just saw from the Olympians on the Olympic side is just. Um, you know, not really getting settled on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, very, taking a lot of uneasy shots, uncomfortable shots, trying to force passes in there. And uh, what they got to go ahead and do is just settle down. And as for the Warriors, capitalizing off mistakes this is why they're undefeated in the league. You know, they, they, this is what they do best. They, they play great defense. Uh, Timmerman, Katie Timmerman, she is feeling it. You can just see the confidence she is. Might not be making all her shots, but you can just see the confidence come with the ball coming off of her hands as she's shooting. And uh, right here, you see Bo Corona. You know, you know darn well he's uh, giving his team some type of speech right now. Definitely not a first quarter we really expected to see from the Olympians. Uh, I guess you want to say a sloppy basketball play. And then, of course, Rick, Ricky Murakami, how we, we, we talk about the intensity Bo brings. Oh, she, she brings it just as much as Bo does. And, <laughs> You it, can it, feel it, it. It, it. It might not seem like it because she has, she has such a sweet, innocent face, but boy, oh boy, I can feel that intensity over here. And you can just see how well coached this team is, all thanks to Coach Ricky. And she has a perfect set of assistants. One is a guard, one is a forward. So she has that thing well mapped out. Kira Hernando, definitely, right in front of us. Definitely studied the game, I'll tell you that. James with it, and a 10-point lead, but the pass is knocked out of bounds. Let's see who touched it first. It's off of Lanny Lum. All right, so. this is where an opportunity now for the Olympics to capitalize off of their mistake. All right, throughout the whole entire first quarter, Warriors were capitalizing off the Olympians' mistakes. Now it's this time for them to capitalize off their mistake. The official timeout. Don't know if the clock hadn't started or what. But uh, again, a mulligan. <laughs> Honesty Hassan in the game for the Olympians. Brings it in now to Precious Anwuka. Dumps it down low to Gatewood. Gatewood knocks down Haley Jones. And is it a foul? They are going to. Yep. Going to call it on Brianna. Her first personal third team foul. Uh, is this a flop? Let's see. I look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So she wins uh, the Academy Awards for uh, Best Actor of the Night. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't even think she would have won a Star Award for that one. <laughs> Baseline pass to Timmerman, rolls it in. And she has 10 points. 
30 last game, 10 already. And she is, she is just heating up. Oh, oh pass boy. is knocked away and stolen by Jones. Five turnovers. Jones gets the lay-in. I mean, we keep talking about how the Olympians are making a lot of mistakes, but I think we got to start crediting, you know, the Warriors' defense on on how great they're playing. They Olympians have not been comfortable whatsoever at all throughout this half, and they continue to make offensive fouls, as we just saw right now, a turnover from De'Ara Allen. And she comes out of the ball game. And with the 15-point deficit now, Foul was on James, her first personal. And good defense by Timmerman to cause that air ball. Gatewood inadvertently runs over Lanny Lum, and it's going to be a foul. Personal foul to number 11 of the Olympians. That was more of the Black Friday type foul. Or, no, that's my shirt. No, that's my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Gatewood. Saito with it. Gatewood, she doesn't mind being physical, I'll tell you that. Long shot, and it does not get the bounce. Rebound is off to Timmerman. Another offensive chance, another shot for Saito. That misses, and it's taken by the Olympians. Precious brings it up. She doesn't want to give it up. Give me that ball, and losing her. She get the ball. The possession arrow faces that way. But a good tie-up at any rate by Precious. At this point now, Precious, she's a little bit fed up. And you can just see she's not happy right now with the team performance. And Brianna Gatewood, nicely done. And shook off the thespianism of Haley Jones. Brianna Gatewood. Ball down on the baseline. To Timmerman, shot won't go down. Jones with it, has the ball blocked. It gets it again and just keeps fighting. Second Four points third, for Haley. Second, third chance opportunities. Haley has been hogging the ball tonight at the paint. And look at this block by Haley Jones. Wow. Wow, nice pass to Lum. To Jones, down low, too long. Air ball taken by Milhouse. Five and a half left to go in the first half. The Olympians need to get a little run going. Precious trying to find a way through the defense. Fires up a three. No. Rebound being tapped for. No help for Hassan down low. So Hernando comes with it. Gets it to Jones. Jones crosses it. Now back over to Timmerman. More great passing from the Warriors. Skipped across to Saito, and she gets her first bucket. It's a huge three-point shot. What you're seeing is beautiful passing from the Warriors, being patient on offense, letting the opportunity come to them and taking advantage of it. And that's what helped contribute to this 18, well now 16-point lead. How about that play by Brianna? She got underneath Haley Jones. Maybe nice we, layup. Maybe we got a little something for the uh, Olympians now, a little formula for them to get that offense going. Gatewood. Three-point shot by Hernando is an air ball. A rebound is, or there no rebound. The ball is just picked up by Precious. Quick outlet pass to Milhouse. It's knocked away. Should be Olympian ball. It is. Allen comes back in for Gatewood, so they're going smaller, faster. Oh, boy. Uh, Gatewood, she scored their last four points on offense. And you can see in a... She, she definitely has uh, been battling out there along with Haley Jones. Milhouse gets the inbound pass to Allen. She's been sitting down a while. To Johnson. Johnson gets it back, did a little stutter. Now puts up a three, just missed. Rebound taken in by James. Back comes West with James dribbling it up court. Just under three minutes or four minutes left to go. The baseline jumper didn't go down. Haley Jones with it. She gets hammered. 
And she'll get two at the line. I just, she, she's just been eating offensive rebounds all game long, Lou. How many second chance opportunities that Haley has given them? And I mean, yeah, she might not be putting up the 10, 20 point games, but this is the type of basketball that everybody appreciates right here from what Haley Jones is doing tonight. Haley Jones, one of the senior captains and also battling for player of the year. Puts it up with the left hand and she now has six points. Two for two there with the left hand. That's an and one with a collision at the inside the paint. But De'Ara Allen finally gets on the board. As we see this collision here. Yep, well, she jumped, she left, she left her feet. So the foul. And one. And that completes the and one. Most importantly was getting Allen on the board. And now a great turnover from the Olympians. Try to at least take the lead down to Allen with it. Um, Sorry about that. You're good, Lou. It's okay, Lou. It's okay. There's a good rebound so, there from Honesty Hassan. And Dara crashing the paint oh! once again. Dara Allen with the player of the year play. All right, watch out, Lou. She is, uh, she might be catching fire. Let's see if she can complete a second and one. And right down the middle. And she does. So she put up the last six points for the Olympians offense. So she has nine points. Yeah. James gets it to Timmerman. Too long, rebound, nice rebound by Honesty Hassan. See if they can get something on the board. Precious with three fouls is still out there. Millhouse trying to get around James. All right, let's see Allen now. Setting it up. Down underneath the Precious. Gets around and the shot was no good, but still get two shots at the line. And this is how you attack a finesse type of team. What you see is a finesse, with a finesse team, you want to get physical with them. And this is what the Olympians are doing, Lou. Getting down low, as we see here, Precious taking it to the rack, initiating the foul. But got to hit the free throws there. Yeah, when you get the gimmies, you got to take them. So out of the ball game is Hernando. Back in is Elisa Saito. So precious. Now these free throw shots are precious. Haley Jones did her best to keep Johnson out of the way with a little hook and hold. So Timmerman. Big missed opportunity James. there, missing both free throws. Oh, yeah. And yeah, thrown away. Luckily for the Olympians, Warriors gave the possession back to them. And let's see if they can go ahead and bring this lead down to 10, if not less than 10. Allen driving inside the lane oh, and gets wow. the ball stuck. <laughs> go up there, Lou. Go ahead, knock it out. Not me. I can't, you can't even put a piece of paper underneath my shoes when I jump. <laughs> Jeff Van Heusen is the hero. Van yeah. Holsen, excuse me. Sometimes. The ball bounces one way or the other. This time, the ball just decided to stay there. So no foul called on that play as Joan inbounds it to Saito. The thing with the Olympians, their defense has been playing good now the past several minutes, and they did capitalize a couple times on the offensive side, but it's only a matter of time before Warriors will put points back on the board. So a couple of failed missed opportunities from the Olympian side while they're playing good defensively. They 
didn't really take advantage offensively. There's a nice play, but Milhouse couldn't finish it. Nice rebound, though, by Hassan. The last shot by the Warriors was made by Hoffsmith. And a nice running jumper. That won't go down by Hassan. Rebounds being fought for. It's on the ground. Jump ball. Possession arrow faces the Warriors. I think. And there you see Jesse Hoffsmith. Allen trying to hide something. She's a little gimpy out there walking around. She's, she's been very physical tonight. All her points coming off of band one so far. Okay, the, the officials get the possession arrow right now. The Olympians had it. And this pass is just over the fingers of Precious. Stolen away. No house forcing that pass there. Almost stolen, but James gets it to Timmerman. Stop and go. Give it underneath to Jones. Not high enough. This one is off the window. Precious says, uh-uh. Gives it off to Hassan. Hassan stops. Puts on the brakes. Waiting for some help. And it's stolen away by Timmerman. Didn't get any help. Stolen away. Eight turnovers on the Olympians. Rebound is batted away. Picked up by Milhouse, and she'll slow it down. Let's see if they can... Uh, I think it's, they can still go ahead and try to get a two for one here, depending how they attack this offensive possession. 37 on the game clock, 19 on the shot clock, and that wild shot gets rebounded by Timmerman. They've been taking some uncomfortable shots, things that they were doing back in the first quarter that got them in this situation of being down by 10 plus. They're taking very, a lot of uncomfortable shots. And uh, wow. Haley knocked down Allen, no call. But it's oh. stolen, the pass is stolen by Precious. She doesn't have numbers, but she's gonna bull her way through for the layup. Five points for Precious. Four seconds left to go. Three point shot taken, and that's a killer. At the buzzer by Elisa Saito now with 12 points. And two three pointers. And at the half, it's 32 to 17 just as the Olympians were making a run to get it down to single digits. I like what I saw from the Olympians defensive side the last, pretty much the last half of the second quarter. Um, you know, Warriors, they, are, they scored here and there, but what was missing on the offensive side of the Olympians was them capitalizing. Uh, obviously, with uh, De'Ara Allen, you're getting two and ones. That really... Uh, how do you how do you say like take, took the lead down, but now it's back up to 15 after a killer three pointer right there at the end of the half. And the Olympians right now they are definitely in a big hole against obviously an undefeated Pioneer League team. Oh, that's right. And uh, uh, well, the the West Warriors uh, certainly showed that they are the cream of the crop and why they've won ten in a row and are going to be battling a, a huge favorite in their division. Uh, let's see what division they are in. They are in the Division One, number 13 in Division One right now. Let's go to Tamara. I believe she has the Warriors coach. Coach, up by double digits. What has kept you in this game tonight? Um, I think definitely we came out with defensive intensity, which is what we told them before the game, and we just got to limit the, the easy buckets down the stretch, and we should be pretty good. What do you need to do to keep the same energy in the second half? Um, I think they got to stay hungry. They can't look at the scoreboard. They got to keep um, pushing like we've been doing and, and just rely on our defense. I know you told me before the game that you're going to rely on defense. Are you happy with your defense thus far? Um, I'm pretty ca pretty happy with it. I think we can be better, and, and we'll hopefully show that in the second half. All right, thank you so much. Good luck in the second half. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Tamara. We're going to add up some numbers, and we'll be back for the third quarter right after this on City TV. Hi, I'm Donnell Beverly from the University of Connecticut, home of the 2011 National Championship UConn Huskies basketball team, and you're losing your Olympians. Beverly around the back, follow a jumper, good, beautiful shot. It wasn't too long ago that I was playing basketball right here. I just want to thank him for having me here. I'm, I'm honored to play here. And the Huskies are the top dog in 
2011. Winning the NCAA championship has always been a goal of mine, but so is getting a great education that will last me a lifetime. You can achieve your goals too. All you have to do is work hard and dream hard, and you can do anything you put your mind to. Back here at Losinger High School inside of the gym, where so many uh, high school hall of, or high school players and NBA players have played. The score is 32 to 17. And Darius, uh, we have had some pretty nice highlights today. Some great highlights actually, and um, it pretty much most of it favored the Warriors, obviously. And you can see the, the discomfort from Bo. But it all started with Katie Timmerman, one of the senior leaders on this team, and. She's been very confident shooting the balls we see outside the perimeter here, driving to the basket, getting settled, putting up easy baskets. And she ten has points, ten points tonight. Yep, ten sorry. points, and even even being a contributor on the defensive side, um, this is what a true senior leader does. But here is one of my one of my favorites right here is Haley Jones, and she is just doing all the dirty work, being physical at the line, physical in the paint. That is grabbing, putting up second chance points is. And uh, it, it's going to be hard to stop. And uh, there was Jara Allen, and she's been the star for the Olympians. And, and she has a couple of points, and, but that's it. She's been shut down pretty much. Reason why, you know, showing Jara Allen attacking the paint there, because that's been the most successful uh, on the offensive side for the Olympians is them attacking the paint. So what they got to go ahead and do, I say that they should still continue to go ahead and attack it until there's some type of uh, they can stop. Now the uh, foul was on Gatewood. That's her third. So Precious and Brianna both have three fouls. And Anaya Jones, James, I should say, with a point. Some. Looks like a little uh, wet spot on the floor that they still, they, even though they they redid the gym here, they still can't afford a towel. <laughs> I'm going to get them one of those BB and B 20% coupons so they can go get a towel. I can donate it. And they're firing the mystery slippery spot. <laughs> Sounds like a children's book. We should work on that. The next Dr. Seuss. Anaya with her second free throw, and she looks like she works on that. As they double the Olympians' lead up by 17 now. And a cramp or something going on with Melissa Milhouse, and now an injury timeout. Yeah, it looks, there looks like there was a it looks like there was a collision earlier. And Millhouse is definitely in pain. There's some type of collision going on, and she is favoring her knee. Her left knee looks like. It's a good sign that she's walking it off right now. Yeah, a little stinger or something down there. Well, boy, you bonk your knees together. She's wearing pads. But sometimes if you get hit just right. Yep. Let's see if we can see it here. We can just see. Oh, there it is. Anaya Jones. Bangs right into the side where the, the, the padding is not there. Time back in. Hassan with it. Gets it over to Allen. Allen to Precious. She fires up a long three. No rebound is off. Taken by Gatewood. And she out battled Haley Jones. A long three with no time left on the shot clock by Johnson. And that almost went in. So the ball is turned over. One thing that happened last game was that the game was tied up going into the fourth quarter, and the the Warriors, what they tend to do is pull away in the second half, and right now they have a 17-point lead here in the second half, and it just pretty much can make or break this quarter right here because they do a good job on pulling away in the eighth game they've been in with the lead. Stop the presses. Timberman missed. Precious gets it over to Johnson, and nope. Off the mark, rebound off to James. Seems to me, Darius, that the Olympians need to take a little more time to pick their shot. As the three-pointer by Saito won't go down. The rebound is off to Johnson, and she'll bring it back up court. Precious with it. 
She drives in the wing, off the mark. Taking a lot more unnecessary shots. They're just not settled in right now. What you just said earlier, Lou, about them. Uh, I'm not sure if they're already feeling the pressure right now, thinking that time is already running out when there's six minutes left in the third quarter. But they're not settled in at all, at all offensively, have not been settled in at all throughout the game. Haley Jones didn't get the bounce from the corner shot. Goes oh, out of goodness. bounds. Oops. It's going to be West Ball. And another 30 seconds. A new 30 put up on the shot clock. Underneath to Haley Jones, and she missed the bunny. Surprise here, there. Here comes Allen. Allen against Timmerman puts it up and in. And that's where she's beginning all her points tonight, has just been inside the paint attacking it. Surprise that wasn't uh, being called a foul, but, and that could have been her third and one of the night. But uh, what I try to say coming back from half is try to keep attacking the hole there. James gets a wheel around to Timmerman. She wants to go against Allen, does, but the ball stripped away. And back comes the Warriors. Here comes Johnson, puts wow. it up and in, Hassan. Good fast break, capitalizing off the turnover. And that's something where in the first half, when they played good defensively, they did not capitalize on the offensive side. Here we see Honesty, Honesty Hassan making her way to the lane. Ooh, beautiful one-two step. That's a beautiful layup right there. Yeah, Sky Frazier in the ball game, number 30. She comes in, a six-foot freshman comes in. Looks like something that Brianna Gatewood did because Bo took her to the side and he is currently talking to her right now. Sometimes it could get it could, it could get emotional out there, I'll tell you that. And Haley Jones doing what she's been doing all game, second champ, second chance points. She has eight points. Just been absolutely dominating in the paint tonight. Allen with it. Thought she was going to drive, but gets it back out to Precious. Now over to Hassan. Hassan's been playing a good game tonight. And not, right underneath on the miss, ah, Sky Frazier is there to put it in. She pays dividends right off. Been very successful in the paint tonight for the Olympians. And Timmerman gets it back out to Saito for three. That dagger doesn't find it. More Timmerman. second chance points. Yep, another rebound at a new 30 seconds. And West is chewing off that clock underneath to Jones, but she had a wide open wing, but the pass was too far over her head. It's a turnover. Gatewood comes in for Frazier. And you got, I'm just wondering, I'm not questioning Coach Corona, but now. There's a teaching moment going on over there with those two. I think he is really trying to coach him up on Haley Jones right now because obviously both Sky and Brianna are the ones that are going to be on Haley Jones for the rest of this half. And look at Ooh, this from nice. Honesty. Four points for Honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Nice uh, block by Precious on that shot. Jones with the rebound. James, reverse layup. Six points for Anaya. Fast and furious now. We are def is definitely now kickstarting. Took us a minute, but we're seeing some excellent basketball right here. And here comes Ooh, Rihanna. Stuffed by Haley Jones. Is Anaya. This is Haley's house. Haley Precious making gets sure. It, almost turned it over. Diara, nice defense by James to get her to try to switch hands. Jump ball, possession arrow faces, losing her. Anaya James just bugged Diara Allen enough where she fumbled the ball. So losing her is actually lucky to get the ball back. So now we have Frazier, Sky Frazier, and Brianna Gatewood in the ball game at the same time. This should be interesting. And a push called on Lonnie Lum. I think what we've seen so far right now is the Olympians attacking the paint. And looks like Bo wants to go ahead and get big now on the offensive side because that's what they've been successful on, putting points on the board here, especially in this third quarter. 
Timeout, Olympians. We'll see what Coach Corona is cooking up right now for them. It's a full timeout. And now that Bo has had a chance to see both of the centers, Gatewood and Frazier. You know, that, that was a little bit of a light bulb that I saw too. It's like, wow, why don't we put both of them out there and see what happens? Exactly, and I mean, I tell you what, Haley, she might be uh, dominating the paint tonight, but if you have both Brianna and Skye in there bumping her, it's going to take a toll on her eventually. And right now, they have a chance to continue to try to cut at this lead that they're having. They're just chipping away, passing with it. Now gets it to Allen. It's rough down there. Now Hassan with it, and she travels. Thought it was going to be an and one. Instead, it's the 10th turnover on the Olympians. But you look at it now. Now Frazier and Jones is a good matchup. And we're having clock problems again. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. That could always. Uh be the difference maker in a game and you can just see where tonight where turnovers have been the absolute difference maker for the Olympians. James with it being guarded by Hassan. Got a lot better matchups out there now. James with it. Timmerman drives in and throws it right into Gatewood. The it's a jump ball and it remains West ball on the possession arrow. And right now, Melissa Milhouse, all right, maybe a little limp on her, but shaking it off, and Sky Fraser steps out. So now they're going small on defense again. James with it. We're going from Milhouse is on Haley Jones. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be right. A giant mismatch, but Anaya James with a huge three-pointer at and the buzzer. Another turnover for the Olympians. Haley Jones, what a quick turnaround here. And another turnover. Are you kidding another me? Another bucket. That's Hernando's first bucket of the game. And that's the defense. That coach Murakami. Full court pressure. Emphasized on. Nice pounce pass to Precious. Can she finish? Yes. Seven points for Anwuka. Wow, what a what a big turn of events right there. What we just saw the last 30 seconds of this. And a runner by Timmerman. Are they gonna miss ever again? Hassan with it. Allen stops. Bam, just like that, Lou's on the verge of being a 10-point game to a 20-point game in a matter of seconds. And Haley Jones once again denying on Wuka to the rack. Sky Frazier in for Brianna Gatewood and a timeout, full timeout. Look at Haley Jones once again showing her dominant presence. Denying access to Precious. Man. And it, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Nope. About that. There's absolutely nothing you can do. If it's, you just have one of those nights, and it's just been a thorn on Coach Corona's side. And at this point now, is what can you tell the team at this point? You know? You just... Well, Coach Murakama, Murakami has really got these girls fired up, that's for sure. They're all business. And what we said earlier about them pulling away in the second half, this, this is just what the Warriors do. This is just what the Warriors do. They pull away in the second half of games. And right now, last minute of the third quarter, you're talking about them stepping into the fourth quarter with a 20-point lead. And one thing I got to go ahead and point out, too, is the there's a shooting on the Olympian Ooh. side, and oh my goodness. 
Good defense, forced that bad pass. A dozen turnovers for the Olympians. Hernando against Precious. Puts it up with the left hand and puts it in. They're on fire right now. Everybody's just making a shot. <laughs> Here comes Sky. Too high. Ball is stolen away. Allen can't make it go as it is tough out there. Woo. That's tougher than a U.S. women's soccer game. I thought the Super Bowl was this Sunday here. I thought football <laughs> season was just over with. Look at all the collisions that we were seeing there. And I think Precious right now is a little bit shaken up or probably just well, She might frustrated. be. She was a little of both. Foul was on Haley Jones. Her second personal, second team foul. 45 seconds, 46 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Millhouse wants to go down the lane. She does, throws up a wild one, won't go down. Rebound is being tipped around and finally taken by Lanny Lum. What an effort by Haley Jones there to, 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 to save the ball and giving the Warriors possession here. 20 and seconds left. I think they're going to wait till the clock ticks to 0 0 to take that shot. Unless Haley, Haley Jones has access right there. Oh my gosh. And she hits away Sky Frazier right in the right in the nose. Twelve points for Jones. Ouch. Jara Allen ends up on the hardwood. And she gets two foul shots the hard way. And Aya James with the foul. Her second, third team foul. And this is where De'Ara Allen has been most successful is uh, attacking the paint through the night, but. She makes that yes. one. Makes the second. With six points now. The end of the and third quarter, Lou. And the thing about it is that that I thought that, that was the Olympians' best quarter of the game, but the Warriors they just keep did on rolling twice as better as the Olympians did. And I, I felt like the Olympians had a really good quarter there, well, offensively, but there was that quick what 20-second sequence there, constantly turnover off the full court press that the Warriors had, and that quickly went from a 13-point lead to a 20-point lead. Boom, just like that, and stepping into the fourth quarter with a 22-point deficit for the Olympians, it's going to be tough to go ahead and overcome and sort of surprising to especially see this because last time they met, it was tied up going into the fourth quarter. Well, believe it or not, well, the, even though the Olympians did have a good quarter, they were outscored 19-12 to 12 in the third quarter. Leading the way, nine points for Anaya James. She had seven points in the third quarter. Six points for Haley Jones as she's starting to ramp things up. And Dara Allen with four points in the corner, as did Honesty Hassan. As we get the fourth quarter underway, right in front of us. Precious. Trying to go against the brown jerseys of the Warriors. Excellent passing here. Uh, looks like that might be an over the back foul on Honesty Hassan. So. Good defense. Well, actually, Lani Lum held her ground. Honesty's first personal and the second team foul. Done underneath to Timmerman, who rolls it up and in. She has 14 points. Been a rather quiet half for Timmerman, but the rest of her team has been playing excellent so far, so she didn't really need to put the team on her back to this half so far. Um, the thing about the Olympians right now, what is really showing their downfall has just been their jump shots. I have not, I don't think even remember the last time they made a jump shot. Um, they will... 
Warrior defense has been right in their face and uh, they spread out. Another jump ball or was it a foul? It's a foul on Precious. That's her fourth personal and third team foul. Let's watch this battle between Precious and Haley. Haley Jones. Not surprised to see her in the middle of the scuffle, huh? Yeah, no, but I, I don't see the foul. Fourth quarter just underway. Timmerman with it, bouncing off of Felissa Milhouse. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Precious. See if the Olympians can get something going here. Down 24, 640 left in this fourth quarter. This would be probably the best high school comeback I'll ever see if they manage to somehow tie this up. But at this point, I mean, Coach Ricky Murakami from Warriors, she, she's been such an excellent coach and making sure her team stays disciplined, especially on this, in this stretch of the fourth quarter of the game. And this is why they've been so successful is making sure that they – you know, stay focused and not get ahead of themselves. Here they are up 24 points, playing like if it's still 0-0. So just one bucket scored here in the quarter. Just barely a minute and 19 seconds in. For the Olympians, I can't really – you know, you could point out a certain things about what happened last game when they played was not capitalizing off free throws. But right now, this night has just been not their night. There's a lot of things you could go ahead and point out that went wrong. Jones with the miss and look out with the elbows, Precious. Allen gets it to Hassan. And Allen gets it back. Millhouse trying to get around the pick, but yeah. the ball was bound, dribbled out of bounds on the pass. Allen couldn't handle it, so another turnover for the Olympians. It continues to be just those nights. Look at that. Once again, another turnover, and the night just continues for the Olympians. It's Sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce away, and unfortunately, it can be like this in a game at this magnitude, at this level, for pretty much, for pretty much league champions. Haley has it, gets it to Timmerman, and wheels it off to Hernando. Lum, as the Warriors are doing a tight weave, taking off time. Great pass in there, and Haley Jones getting physical. Once again, second chance points. And uh, Brianna Gatewood trying to push her out of the way, just move her out of the way, but gets caught for the foul. I, I, I would not be surprised if she has 20 rebounds at this point. The amount of second, third chance points that she's given the Warriors tonight has just been absolutely phenomenal. And, um, you know, there was no answer. There was no answer to Haley Jones tonight. With 12 points, make that 13. She is three out of three from the line. And gets another one. She has 14 points on the night. Well, she'd look pretty good in Long Beach State black and gold. Or any uniform on a, on a Thursday and a Saturday. And the jump ball, possession arrow faces to the Warriors. I would not mind driving down the 405 south to the pyramid to go ahead and watch Haley Jones play. Seeing what she puts in after each game. We're seeing what type of grade point average she has. She might even go to Stanford. Shot taken. Nope, it was blocked by Johnson on a nice defensive play. And back comes the Olympians. Here comes Milhouse trying to put it up and over Johnson. And Gatewood getting her way in. And one there. Brianna. Getting her tough on. The bumps and bruises, a well-earned and one, a trip to the line for Brianna. Look at her. Get out of my way. I didn't make it. Nope, let me get that ball back. Put it back in. So that's the third personal on Lum. Yeah. 
And she makes it. So for Brianna Gate with that seven points. And back come the Warriors. Long shot and buried by Timmerman. And she continues her onslaught with 17 points. Allen going through the lane and one. Did that have come with the cost there? Limping there, let's see if she landed awkwardly, but man, Allen, she's been pretty much really superb cr crashing to the hole this game, initiating a lot of fouls, and I think this, if she could go ahead and make this free throw, this would be her third and one of the game. But uh, at the same time, though, you can see her limping around, taking all the bumps and bruises. You know, the, the Warriors made sure that she earned every single point of it. Nothing was going to be given to her. So now, officially, Katie Timmerman has done everything. She has her first foul. <laughs> and just misses the, the foul shot. Haley gets it over to Hernando. James with it now, being guarded by Johnson. Saito, not a Jones. Look at, the, look at the intensity that's still being played right now on the Warriors side, up 24, now up 26. They are still attacking hard with four minutes left to go with a 26-point lead. And 11 points for Saito. Running jumper won't go down. Brianna Gatewood almost took it out of Jones' hands. Slowing it down just a little bit, but not much. Jones is going to take it from the top of the key. Wow. 16 points for Haley. 3.50 left to go in the fourth quarter. Now Milhouse with it, trying to dump it down low to Precious, but it's knocked around and stolen by West. And James Precious. with it. A little bit nicked up down there. It's just been. She is just wore out, I think. She's, she's taking a lot of bumps and bruises tonight. We'll see what happened here. Fighting for the ball. Ooh, took a knee to the chest there. And by Timmerman. Ooh, yep. That's never a good feeling, Lou. I'll tell you that. You would know firsthand, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard you see you go ahead and get down and dirty in the paint back in the day, Lou. Uh, yeah, when I used to paint houses, yeah. <laughs> 3.34 left to go in the fourth quarter. Let's hope the precious is okay. She, she's telling the training staff that she also knocked her head on the, on the hardwood when she fell. So that doesn't move. Always something you got to go ahead and be cautious about when it comes to head injuries and... Foul on Allen there. That's her first personal and the fifth team foul. Get a little physical down there. Allen trying to sneak one in, but instead of getting all ball, she got all of Katie. And Katie once again going to the hole. Zimmerman to James. Playing catch with Saito. Trying to get some time off the clock. Rocking down to three minutes. James goes baseline, wants to do nothing. Wow. Else. She does. And Aya James, just a freshman. Under the hoop. 11 layup. points. And Allen commits the offensive foul with Saito hanging in there. And she's just been an absolute bowling ball tonight. Allen has been. But with a 30-point lead, we're seeing all five subs coming in for the Warriors. So that's so Coach Ricky's calling off the dogs. And look at Coach Ricky for the first time. We see her tonight with a smile on her face, and as as rightfully so, they're about to be uh, league champions. Yep. Just bringing the ball in now is Jordy Morimoto. Also in there is Jamie Tomita, Piper. Takanaka, the freshman. 
And these girls, are, they want to show Coach Ricky that they can, uh, that, hey, maybe we should get some minutes out there, Coach. You know, you let the puppies out there, they want to get the big dog food. Absolutely. And uh, also, not only just, you know, wanting to go ahead and try to get some minutes now, but, you know, you would, you would also want to go ahead and think that, okay, maybe they also have a, a great future looking ahead because, again, you're, you're getting Haley Jones senior year. Katie Timmerman, her senior year, as well as Lonnie Lum, her senior year, all three captains are going to be gone, so you want to go ahead and see what kind of team that you're going to be having moving forward. You know, they obviously now will have the reputation winning league once again this year. So Jamie Tomita, just a sophomore, also in the ball game for the Warriors is Rena Hong. But speaking of bright futures as well, losing her, I mean, again, this is a squad with five freshmen on the varsity on the varsity team. So, you know, darn well their future is looking bright, and they can go ahead and take this as a learning experience moving on forward. The fact that they were this close. And uh oh, that's a turnover. No foul was called as Diara couldn't believe that. So where's the foul call? Coming in the ball game now, number 32, Amari Carpenter. Also, number 14, Sarah McCoy for the first time. So, Millhouse is out. Millhouse and DR looks like they're done for the night as well. And uh, baseline jumper in and out. And another offensive rebound. The shot was taken by Hong. Nice move by Morimoto. And Gatewood with the rebound. Here comes Johnson. Johnson with the layup try. No, rebound is to Hassan. She brings it back out for Gatewood. See, so, yep, the future is bright. The, the, the Olympians are loaded. But, boy, talk about a bigger load are the West Warriors. Absolutely. This, um, this, this is pretty this, – this could be a rivalry in the making for the next three years ahead of us, Lou. It's, it's going to be fun. And Running I'm, jumper is an air ball by Johnson, so that's turnover number 15. But you're right, but not only that, I was just going to say that the Warriors this year, this this team could make a, a deep playoff run. Yeah, they sure can, and you could just see it, it, it's as clear as day on what they do. They, they play as a team. You know, talking to a coach, Murakami, Ricky Murakami, before the game, she says, I mean, there's not really a main, a main person to, to, to go to. Yeah, they got – girls like Katie Timmerman and Haley Jones on there, but she says, I mean, our main focus is not to go ahead and make sure they score first. They, they, she says that they can go ahead and score a variety of ways. Johnson with the long three, no. Gatewood with the miss, but she gets hammered by Piper Takanaka. Boy, have the Olympians, they had a fight for every single point they had to get tonight. You can just see every single point as where Brianna getting the second chance at it, but coming with the price there. At least she's rewarded a trip at the line. Gatewood with the first free throw. She has eight points. And yep. She's going to be a little sore in homeroom tomorrow. Battle for the ball. And Amari Carpenter out battles two Warriors. And the Olympians have the possession arrow, so they'll keep the ball. I'm almost, I'm almost curious to see, like, what would happen if they would have started off big from the get-go. Because obviously, this was the Haley Jones game. But imagine if they would have probably had Scott Frazier and Brianna uh, Gatewood out there to really battle it out with Haley. I wonder how much different this, how much of a different outcome this game would have been. You know, Sarah McCoy with a big battle, under a minute left to go in this one. And Moramito going against Johnson on the mismatch. Tomita has it now going against Johnson. Now over to Hoffsmith, and she puts in the layup. Jesse Hoffsmith with four points. She's a junior leading this team, the second squad out there. Gatewood with it. Now to Johnson with 20 seconds left to go. That's short. 
Gatewood with the rebound, and That's she puts it up and in. Nice job. Ten points for Brianna. Some props to Gatewood. She, she, she really uh, battled out there as well. And that's going to do it. The horn sounds the final score, 68 to 37, in favor of the West Warriors. They defeat the defending CIF champions, the Losinger Olympians, and could be on their way to a CIF championship game at Honda Center. Absolutely, and um, but don't count out these Olympians. They're they're going to be in the playoffs too. You, you, you can't count them out. Of course, of course, especially being defending CIF champs, and you know this is definitely going to be a see how much Coach Bo Corona is going to go ahead and adjust to this. But um, got to go ahead and give props to to the West Warriors coach Ricky Murakami. You can see they're excited, winning the Pioneer League, and. Right now, they uh, they reign supreme. And uh, Tamara is going to have our player of the game. Uh, and let's go to her. Hey, Kaylee, huge, huge game tonight on offense and defense. But eight, 22 rebounds on defense. How did you do it out there tonight? We we found position. We had all five crashing. We knew that Luzinger is an aggressive team, resilient on the boards. And we had to match and surpass that. And we did it as a team. It had to be all five of us. What is the mindset out there when you're out grabbing all those rebounds? What is the mindset out there? We, as a team, we, we knew we had to secure it. That was where we had lacked last night. That's why the game was so close. So we learned from our last round, second round of league, you got to make adjustments. And we knew they were coming out, so we had to match that. This was a collective win. How do you carry that energy over to the next game? So for our next game at Torrance, we take our 9-0 record and we finish the deal. We're going to come up with some nice momentum that no other team has in the league. All right, good game tonight. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Tamara Alata. And uh, a good job by her and a good job by Haley Jones. You figured that she had a double-double tonight. And she, she, good to see you too, ma'am. All right, our refereeing crew getting ready. And uh, she did have a terrific night tonight, a double-double for sure. She Ab had, uh, let's see, 16 points and 22 rebounds unofficially. Absolutely, and uh, I noticed when Tamara kept asking her, uh, you know, how did you perform or what were you looking at out there, every response that Haley was saying is, we played as a team, we were focused, you know, we learned from last round of their mistakes when they did, so you can see where Haley, her mindset, it's all about the team, it's all about the team, and you can just see where she is obviously a, a senior captain and one of the senior leaders out there, and her presence was definitely felt tonight, almost had a 20-20 game. Right. Well, let's see, who are our player of the game and who's our tip of the hat for the losing girl Olympians? I'll let you pick the player of the game. All right, I'll go ahead and, I want to go ahead and go with Brianna Gatewood. She, she really uh, battled it out there and I know it was unexpected, but you know, getting 10 points of the night, really battling out against Haley Jones as well. And Haley Jones, we just saw right now, we just witnessed her destruction, her dominance in the pain, but the fact that Brianna was stay, stayed in there, fought hard, and was fighting for every single point there. That is my player of the game. And uh, Precious on Wuka, got to be our uh, tip of the hat player. She had seven points and uh, really took a lot of punishment out there. So there's our player of the game and our tip of the hat. And, uh, well, a great game uh, coming up here as well. We have a double header tonight, and uh, we're going to get ready for that. So four. Darius Jackson and our new scorekeeper, our little intern here, Asia, and also uh, Tamara Latza and Sebastian Spencer. I'm Lou Stowers saying once again the final score from Losinger High School, 68 to 37 West over over Losinger. And until next time, so long.